Now, let's see how you can set up your own multi-sig wallet using SAFE, a very popular protocol for doing so. So the first thing that you will need to do is navigate to safe.global and click on launch wallet at the top right. You will then be redirected to a new page uh, where you will need to select connect wallet and connect your wallet. Now you can initiate the process with any of the wallets here. It is advisable that if your, your intent is maximizing security that you set up a multi-signature wallet using um, a cold wallet, a hardware wallet, or a combination of hardware and hot wallets. But uh, given that this is a tutorial for pedagogical purposes, I will be simply connecting my Rabi wallet for now through my browser extension. Uh, what I will need to do now is select the network in which I will be setting up my multi-signature. Now, the default option here would be uh, Ethereum, but I will opt instead throughout this tutorial to use a layer 2 solution in order to minimize uh, fees. I will select the uh, base layer 2 network and I will name my wallet here as test tutorial wallet and simply click next. Now in this step I simply add signers. Not the N part but the M part. Part, the total signers that uh, participate in this uh, multi-sig wallet. For now, I will simply add two. Um, you can think of this as, for instance, me and a friend uh, managing this wallet together and agreeing that we will both have to um, sign a transaction uh, before it goes through. So I've specified my address. As you can see, the site pulled my Rabi address automatically and I've specified my friend's uh, public address here. Now what I will set up is the signatures required and since I am co-managing this wallet with my friend I will require that both of us sign a transaction before it is valid. After I have done this I can click on next it will provide me with an overview of my settings, uh, the uh, number of uh, signers, the signatures required or the threshold and the network fee for creating this multi-signature wallet. Uh, if I'm satisfied with everything, I will click on create. And I will have to confirm uh, the transaction on my wallet. Um, I'm making sure that everything is okay and then I sign and create the transaction. Transaction created and I will have to wait a few seconds or depending on the current state a few minutes before my transaction is included in the uh, next block. As you can see my transaction went through and my new safe wallet multi-signature wallet is ready to use start using safe uh, i am greeted with this uh, welcome screen perfect and i will now show you how you can initiate uh, a simple transaction uh, what you will need to do is first of all fund your wallet and the way you can fund your multi-signature wallet is you go over to the address book this is the address of my multi-sig. I will copy this to my clipboard and I will transfer some of some funds to this uh, multi-signature wallet. I will do this now using my Rabi wallet. I click on my extension, click and send, send to my base multi-signature wallet and I will send some base ether or I should say some ether on base double check the transaction uh, confirm that everything is correct and then I sign and create now in a few seconds 
those funds will reach my multi-signature wallet and then I'll show you how you can initiate uh, a transaction that will require both signatures for it to go through. So as you can see now the funds have reached my uh, multi-signature wallet. I can see this uh, at the top left or I can see this by clicking home under total asset value and I will now go ahead and send this money to some other friend. I can very simply do this by clicking uh, send uh, here. I'll send uh, tokens and I will need to specify my friend's address on the base layer uh, too, because this is the type of Ether I have uh, in my wallet. Now, I'll double check the address. I've copied this to my clipboard for the moment. Um, and I will need to check that this is indeed the address that I intend to spend the money to. I'm double checking now. Correct. And then let's transfer some uh, ETH. Uh, to them. I specified the amount of uh, ETH that I would like to transfer and then click next. Now I will be prompted to sign the transaction with both signers that are set up in the multi-signature wallet. If I had three signers assigned to this wallet and only required two signatures, I would simply need to sign with either two out of three uh, uh, signers specified in the multi-signature wallet. In my case, I specified two signers, I required two signatures, so I will have to sign with both. Now, I'm given uh, two options here. The first is add this transaction to BATS or to directly sign this transaction. What adding the transaction to BATS would do is simply keep it in a, in a stack of transactions that I can then sign uh, all together. The reason for that is Sometimes it is cumbersome to sign lots of transactions uh, in multi-signature wallets, so SAFE just has this convenient feature. For now, I'll simply sign uh, with the first wallet, which is my uh, Rabi wallet. I have received a notification on my computer. I can see the transaction details and I can simply click uh, sign and create and then confirm. Um, I've now signed with my first wallet and if I go to transactions I'll see that I have a pending uh, um, transaction here and I'll need to sign with my other wallet too. I've now connected my other wallet or I guess uh, in our um, scenario my friend has connected their wallet to base by simply again clicking at the top right and connecting their wallet and I can see that I have a pending transaction here. I can have a clear view if I go under transactions and I will choose to confirm. Uh, as you can see here I get the option to execute the transaction later or execute the transaction now and the fee uh, for submitting the transaction to the network. I will click on execute and I will again have, uh, I will receive a notification. I will need to confirm the transaction. I have received a notification on my mobile device or browser uh, and so on and so forth. I check through the transaction details and then click sign and create and finally confirm uh, the transaction. And this transaction has now been confirmed. Uh, this is how you can set up your multi-signature wallet. Uh, you can again you can specify any number of uh, signers and you can require any number of signature depending on your use case. Our use case was a very simple case of two friends uh, uh, deciding that they will collectively manage a cryptocurrency wallet and both will need um, to consent to each transaction. A transaction has been successfully submitted to the base layer 2 and we can view it here.